Hey guys, Afterglow here bringing you a tutorial about the time code effect in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So in this project I have my footage, it's just a speedrun, and now the first thing I like to do is indicate the start and end of the speedrun. So let's say for instance I want to start it right here, the timer that is. I'm just going to hit M to create a marker, and then the same thing for the end. I'm just going to hit M again to indicate where the run ends. So now I have two markers indicating where the start of my timecode effect is going to be and the end. So what I'm going to do now is create a blank video track and put it right above my footage. And then I'm going to go to media generators and create a black solid. And then I'm going to apply the timecode effect to this black solid. And the timer starts where the solid starts, so I just put that at the marker. So the next step is to extend the black solid all the way to the end and you'll see that the timer just keeps going as long as the black solid is. So now that I have a timer the next step is to change the video track settings to get rid of the black background of the black solid. So I'm going to change the video track settings to be set to add and that's going to remove all of the black including the black box around the timecode effect. And alternatively, I could change it to subtract to get black text instead of white, but I prefer white, so I'm going to make it add. So that's it in terms of the actual timer. The next step is to stop the timer when the speedrun ends. And unfortunately, the time code effect in Sony Vegas doesn't enable you to do that. Um, there's just no setting to stop the timer. So it's just going to continue executing after my end. So to stop the timecode effect, I'm going to take a screenshot of where I want the timer to end. And first I'm going to change the video quality to best and then click this button here, which creates a screenshot. And then I'm just going to drag that into my video track. And it looks like I need to put this in a new track since the current track is set to add. And now I have a screenshot of where the timer will end. So for this to work, I need to get rid of everything but the white text in this screenshot. And I can do this by applying an effect. Now I'm going to change the video quality to best so you guys can see what's going on. And then solo this track. And then I'm going to add an effect called Black Restore. And what this enables you to do is mask out darker portions of your footage. And you can do that by just cranking up the threshold. And you'll see that it leaves the white text intact because that's really bright. Although if I crank it up too high it does mask that out as well. And the trick is to just pick a threshold that leaves just the white text. Now if I put this back onto the track set to add, it will remove the black. And then now you'll see that the timer just stops when I reach the end. So that's about it. The timer stops where I want it to. And now let's say I want the timer to fade out at the beginning and then fade back in at the very end instead of being throughout the entire footage. So what I'm going to do is duplicate my run and then just drag that on um, the very top and then I'm just going to fade that in sometime after the timer starts and then fade it out sometime before the timer ends and you'll see now that the timer just fades out after about five seconds and then fades back in at the end which is what I want. And one last thing is if you don't have the black restore effect, since older versions of Vegas don't, you can use Threshold, which does the same thing, basically. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.